Welcome back to Mike's Man Cave and welcome back to another Hydro Flask review video. Today we're going to have a look at the Hydro Flask Cooler Cup. Now, there's two that I've already taken out of the packaging. This is actually my one that I've been using for the last couple of weeks. And I absolutely love this little cooler cup. It's brilliant. And personally, I think this is probably one of the most versatile items that Hydro Flask sell. Now, this is how they come. I've got a few of these for different members of the family. Now, these are still in their packaging. Some of these come wrapped in bubble wrap, like this one does. And others come wrapped in the original Hydro Flask bag, recyclable bag. However, Hydro Flask is starting to discontinue the bag in favour of the bubble wrap. So let's just take this one out of its packaging, just so you can see how it comes. That's it there. It's a Hydro Flask cooler cup and there's how to use it on the back. These are 12 ounces or 354 mil. And here is another one that's wrapped in the bubble wrap. And it's basically the same thing. This is a black one. So these come in various colors and inside they are stainless steel and they do come with care and use instructions the reason these are so versatile is because they've got many uses. You can also buy these lids to fit these. So I've got one here already out of the packet. Here's one still in the packet for you to have a look at. So let's see what we can do with these. Okay, originally they are cooler cup. They've got this silicon sleeve that easily comes off just like that. Here's your can of drink and here's your cooler cup. It slides in there perfectly. And then the silicon sleeve slips over the top and secures it inside your Hydro Flask cooler cup. Now this protects your hands from getting cold from the can and hopefully it will also assist in keeping the can contents nice and cold for you to enjoy. So we'll be doing a test on that very shortly but let's have a look at the other uses that you've got. So you might be out camping and you're using your cooler cup around the campfire to keep your hands from getting too cold and to keep your cans of drink, whether it be soft drink or beer, cold. So then the next morning you wake up, you take off your silicon sleeve, get rid of your can, put your sleeve on the bottom so you've got a non-slip base, and you get your lid, and now you've got a standard 12 ounce coffee cup with a lid. So you can drink your coffee in the morning around your campsite or even at home or at work. Now you can also obviously take that off and use it as a standard tumbler or drinking cup or drinking glass for cold or hot beverages. So you can have your coffee, your tea or your cold drink with ice cubes inside the cooler cup. So it's very versatile. So you can use it for coffee, tea in the morning or you can use it for your can of drink while you're traveling in the car or sitting around the campfire. Now, I'm hoping that this is going to be effective at keeping the contents of the can colder for longer. So we will be testing that out very shortly. So I think this is very, very versatile. And if you're going to get one item from Hydro Flask, I would probably buy one of these. This is my personal one, the grey one. I love this colour. I actually like all these colours, I must say, but I love the grey one in particular. This is my one that I've been using for the past couple of weeks, and I find it to be really, really good. So let's get into the kitchen, and we'll be comparing the cooler cup to the standard stubby cooler. That's what we call these in Australia, where I live anyway. And we'll be comparing that to just having a standard can out on its own. So we'll see how well the cooler cup compares to the stubby holder compared to just using the can on its own. So let's get into the kitchen and get testing. Now here's the start of our test. Outside temperature is roughly 25 to 26 degrees at the moment. Now these Coke cans are full of cold water 
I have had the Coke cans with the water in the fridge for the past 24 hours. So let's see what the temperature of the water is now. Okay, so our first can is 3.2 degrees. They should all be the same, hopefully. Oh, that one's a bit colder. 2.9, 2.8. Let's check the next one. And 3 degrees. So we've roughly got around 3 degrees. These cans seem to vary between 2.9 and 3.1 degrees, or thereabouts. So the first can's now in there, the second can's in there, and the third can has got no protection whatsoever. So they're all around the, between 2.9 and 3.1, and they seem to vary when I go back between them. So it's probably a slight variance in the uh, thermometer that's giving the difference. So let's just call it three degrees. Okay, it's now been 15 minutes and we've got 5.7 degrees for the hydro flask. We have eight degrees or 8.1 degrees for the standard cooler. And we have 10.4 degrees for the unprotected can. It's now been 30 minutes. The hydro flask one is 6.2 degrees. The standard cooler one is 9.7 degrees. And, and the can on its own is 13.4 degrees. It's now been 45 minutes and the hydro flask can is at 7.8, 7 7.9 degrees, 7.8. Let's try the next one that's in the standard can cooler. That's 13.6 degrees. And the can just sitting out in the open is at 16.8 degrees by the look of it. It's now been one hour and the hydro flask can is at 10.4 degrees. So that seems to be about the practical limit, one hour. And let's check the standard cooler. That's at 16.5 degrees, 16.6. So let's check the can that's just sitting out on the bench top. We've got 20.3 degrees, over 20 degrees. So you wouldn't want to be drinking a cold beer at 20 degrees or a cold can of soft drink at 20 degrees. Okay, we're back now. We've done the test. And as you saw, this thing performed really, really well. Look, we only ran the test for an hour. And the reason for that is, seriously, if you don't drink your can of drink in an hour, you didn't really want a can of drink, did you? So, I think an hour is a realistic time frame. I mean, most people will drink a can of drink within 15, 20 minutes or half an hour. So, if you really do want to drag out drinking your drink for an hour, this Hydro Flask Cooler Cup will definitely help you have a nice cold drink even after 45 minutes to an hour especially compared to your standard stubby holder or having nothing at all. Now, if you want to purchase one of these for yourself, I will link the original Hydro Flask Australia website down below in the description box for you, where you can securely purchase your very own Hydro Flask cooler cup. I will also link some other Hydro Flask review videos down below for you. Now, if you enjoyed this quick little video, do me a favour, Give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more videos from Mike's Man Cave. Thanks for watching and bye for now.